And now, First Warn 5 Weather with meteorologist Andrew Chung. Welcome back, everyone. Hope you had a very nice weekend. We have been seeing persistent clouds. I thought we'd see some more sunshine for the afternoon. We're now finally seeing some breaks in the clouds, but overall it's been mostly cloudy. It has been mild and very breezy for this Sunday. The temperatures got into the 70s for this afternoon. We'll have mostly cloudy skies continuing for most of this evening, but we should see decreasing clouds very late tonight into early tomorrow morning behind a weak cool front. Temperatures right now not terrible. 78 degrees Rio Grande City, 76 in McAllen, 73 in Edinburgh and Raymondville, 71 in Westlaco, 73 in Harlingen, and 73 in Brownsville. And take a look at the winds. A great day to fly that kite, folks. We've got winds out of the south to southeast right now between 14 to 22 miles an hour with a gust of 33 in Harlingen, 24 in Westlaco, 22 in Edinburgh and McAllen and 29 in Brownsville. Here's your evening planner forecast. The temperatures are quite mild at 7 p.m. It's going to be a breezy start to the evening with mostly cloudy skies and a temperature of 68 degrees. Now, I think the winds will start to come down just a bit by mid-evening until about uh, 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, head of the front, 64 degrees at 9 p.m. So during that period, between about 11 o'clock tonight through 3 o'clock in the morning or so, there is that chance for some patchy fog. But as the front arrives, those winds will scour out that fog if it does form and it is going to be breezy late tonight into tomorrow behind the front. Here's a surface map. Lots of clouds in place today. One warm front over the Houston area. Cold front toward Abilene heading towards central and south Texas. And it is a mess up to the northeast and the Midwest. Look at this. The pink is a wintry mix in Missouri and western Illinois, including St. Louis. The green, of course, is rain. Now this front will continue to the south into our area, again, reaching our area by around 3 o'clock tomorrow morning. Look at the temperatures right now. 67 in Austin, 65 in Houston, 59 in Longview. Out west, 63 in Midland, 54 in Amarillo, and 68 degrees out west in El Paso. So here is Future Track. We're looking for mostly cloudy skies tonight. Again, there is a possibility for some fog around 11 o'clock tonight through perhaps around 3 o'clock in the morning head of the front. So we think the front arrives in the upper valley around 3 o'clock tomorrow morning. This is a dry front, so if anything, there may be a few showers offshore, but onshore it should be dry tonight. The front should clear the coast by about 6 or 7 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. It is going to be breezy but sunny and cooler with high temperatures in the lower 70s. Nice day tomorrow, but on the breezy side, and it is going to be chillier for tomorrow night as low temperatures dip into the 40s. But a lot of sunshine again for Tuesday as well as for Wednesday. Things warm up for Wednesday and then a stronger cold front comes in by Thursday night this week. On the water, we'll have winds out of the south early on shifting to the northwest behind the front at 15 to 25 knots. The bay waters are moderate choppy, becoming choppy later on tonight. Your next tide is a high tide at 810 in the evening. Small craft advisory in effect for tomorrow morning early uh, as the front moves through. So overnight tonight into tomorrow and the seas are four to eight feet. For tonight, a chance for some patchy fog. Clouds will decrease very late tonight. Low temperature 57 degrees. Then for tomorrow, it is sunny, cooler, and not humid with a high temperature of 72. There are your winds tomorrow out of the northwest to north at 15 to 25 miles an hour. So here's that seven day forecast. It's a little bit cooler for tomorrow and for Tuesday. And look at the morning lows. We're down to 44 Tuesday morning, 49 on Wednesday. It does warm up for Wednesday and Thursday with highs in the mid to upper 70s. And then that next front, a stronger one, comes in late Thursday by Thursday night, so it's cooler just in time for Friday with highs in the lower 60s. That's your first one five forecast. Now